Would you look at that? A ladder! Unfortunately, my design doesn't facilitate this type of... Well, destiny awaits. Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're taking a look at all of the video game movie and TV adaptations that we will be seeing throughout 2024. You gonna rescue him? No, he must learn to rescue himself. Before we begin, we publish new videos all week long, so be sure to subscribe to Mojo Plays and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Blue Archive the Animation. <laughs> <laughs> For those unfamiliar, Blue Archive is a mobile RPG developed by South Korean tech giant Nexon. Yeah, there are a ton of those, but this one is supposedly one of Nexon's biggest games, having been on the market since 2021 and generating hundreds of millions of dollars within its first couple of years. Blue Archive will be the first video game to get an adaptation this year, as the anime is set to premiere on April 7th, 2024 on TV Tokyo. The game's cast will also be reprising their roles, so if you are a fan of this game, then hopefully the anime will be as faithful to the source material as it is sounding. However, if you are outside of Japan and are expecting a dub, don't hold your breath. At the time of this video, there appears to be no plans to bring Blue Archive the animation to the West, let alone produce a dub for non-Japanese speakers. Fallout. Hello there. I'm here to show you a wonderful place. Debuting merely a few days after Blue Archive is arguably the most anticipated show of the year for video game fans. The critically acclaimed RPG series Fallout will be getting a new TV series exclusively on Amazon Prime. Holy shit, you're an actual vault dweller. I am. <laughs> I thought all you dipshits were dead. Premiering on April 11th, 2024, the show will focus on Lucy, a vault dweller who finally gets to step outside of her cozy and cushioned life in a vault to venture out into the world. However, things aren't as civil as she was hoping for. Lucy is being portrayed by Ella Purnell, who many gamers will know as the voice of Jinx in the League of Legends Netflix series Arcane. Another name TV viewers might recognize is Walton Goggins, who has appeared across a plethora of incredible shows, including The Righteous Gemstones, Vice Principals, and Amazon Prime's own superhero animated series, Invincible. Goggins will play the Ghoul, a ruthless gunslinger who served as a vault tech spokesperson in his past life. Honestly, with this cast and the humor and production we've seen so far, we here at Mojo Plays could not be more amped to finally see this. There you are, you little killer. In your heart. Knuckles. I do not make jokes. I make warriors. Oh, let's go get them. Two weeks after Fallout, we will be treated to another TV adaptation. Paramount has been seeing great success with its Sonic the Hedgehog movies, and just to keep us busy before the third movie, we'll be getting Knuckles. Debuting on Paramount+, Plus, Knuckles will show our favorite Echidna working alongside Deputy Whipple as he teaches him the Echidna Warrior's methods. Just as he was in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Knuckles will be voiced by Idris Elba, while comedian Adam Pally reprises his role as Whipple. Sonic and Tails will be making guest appearances alongside other actors like Carrie Elwes and Christopher Lloyd. Just don't expect this show to last you a weekend though. The show will only consist of six episodes, and with the third movie right around the corner, we wouldn't be surprised if the show turns out to be a one and done deal. Expect the show to drop on April 26th, 2024. Do I look like I need your power? What are you talking about? Of course we need his power. It's the whole reason we're here. Borderlands. I'm the weirdest, most dangerous dumpster fire of a world in the universe. God, I hate this plan. Just before we see the third Sonic movie, we will finally get to witness the Borderlands movie. Whether it looks promising or not will depend on your love for the IP. Nevertheless, Borderlands has been in production hell for quite some time, having been announced all the way back in 2015. Even after seeing the movie poster and a couple of trailers, fans have become really skeptical, primarily because of the cast and story. Not only is the story not based on anything from the games, none of the cast seems to fit their roles, except for Jack Black as Claptrap. That's just, that's just smart casting all around. Step aside! 
bitches! Adding to the skepticism is the involvement of director and writer Eli Roth, who hasn't really had an impressive track record since his breakout movie Hostel in 2006. Since then, Roth's output has been questionable at best. At the end of the day, Borderlands faces the ultimate test with fans. It can probably talk the talk, more or less, but can it walk the walk? We'll have to see for ourselves when it storms into theaters on August 9th, 2024. What's happening right now? I'm expelling the excess lead! I can't go if you're looking at me! Ooh, actually, scrap that. Oh, I can. I really can. Actually, it's helping. Are we really waiting for this to finish? Keep looking at me! Sonic the Hedgehog 3. A few months after Borderlands, we'll finally have the third and possibly final Sonic the Hedgehog movie. At the time of this video, not much is known about Sonic the Hedgehog 3 outside of a few details. For starters, Jim Carrey will be returning as Dr. Robotnik despite his talks of retirement back in 2022. Which means x squared times the hypotenuse of y squared divided by the absolute value of friendship equals Dookie! Although there is still a strong possibility this could be the comedian's last role in his storied decades-long career. Interestingly enough, it has been confirmed that Shadow the Hedgehog will be introduced into the story, but as to who is voicing him, it remains to be announced. However, rumors have cropped up that claim Hayden Christensen, who is best known for his role as Anakin Skywalker in the Star Wars prequels, will be providing Shadow's voice. If true, then the casting director needs a substantial raise in pay, because that's just, that's gold, man. We can't wait to see how the Blue Blur's third flick will turn out when it hits theaters on December 20th, 2024. I mean, you barely beat me. Ha! You've never been beaten so hard. Devil May Cry. And now we get into the blurrier half of the year. Devil May Cry is set to be Netflix's next anime adaptation of a video game, and there is a ton of promise behind it. The series is headed by Adi Shankar, who is widely known as the showrunner of Castlevania, Castlevania Nocturne, and Captain Laserhawk, a Blood Dragon remix. Studio Mir, the animation house behind Black Dynamite, Harley Quinn, and Skull Island, will be animating the show. However, Netflix has been tight-lipped about the show, and Ruben Langdon, who has been the voice of protagonist Dante since the third game, has said he was not asked to voice the character. So there are a couple of blemishes fans are seeing, but we'll just have to be patient for now and hope for the best. Come on, man. Cut me some slack. Sakuna of Rice and Ruin Sakuna of Rice and Ruin was perhaps the most slept-on game of 2020. This action RPG combined intense combat with life and farming sim elements to create a rather interesting experience. As Princess Sakuna, you will venture out into the Isle of Demons to protect a village while gathering resources to grow rice and keep your villagers fed. Despite having no DLC or expansions, Sakuna saw solid review scores and wound up surpassing 1 million copies sold as of June 2021. Princess Sakuna herself was featured as a spirit in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and the game even saw a manga adaptation in 2021. So clearly, there is a dedicated fanbase out there. However, much like Blue Archive, Sakuna's anime adaptation will be premiering on TV Tokyo, with seemingly no plans to release it outside of Japan, nor produce a dub for it. That said, if you are into games like this, or anything else published by Marvelous and Xseed Games, you might want to look into this one. Dead Cells While the game will forever be known for its exceptional combat and roguelike mechanics, one of the coolest aspects of Dead Cells was, funny enough, its marketing. Animated by French studio Bobby Pills, the trailers for Dead Cells and its expansions are brimming with style and humor that matches the tone of the game. The game and its trailers have made such a big splash since its launch in 2018 that developer Motion Twin is working with Bobby Pills to produce an animated series. No distributor, nor cast, director, writer, etc. has been named yet, however we wouldn't be surprised if Motion Twin and Bobby Pills put it out on YouTube. The series is due to be released sometime in 2024.
Tomb Raider, The Legend of Lara Croft. With the last big Tomb Raider game being 2018's Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Lara Croft has been due for a return for quite some time now. In January 2021, The Hollywood Reporter revealed that Netflix placed an order for an anime-styled series based on Tomb Raider. The show is currently planned to last two seasons and aims to connect the reboot trilogy with the original games that started in 1996. The show will pick up where Shadow of the Tomb Raider left off, but it will have nothing to do with the 2018 live-action movie. As for Lara herself, the badass babe will be voiced by the alluring Hayley Atwell, who is best known for her role as Agent Peggy Carter across various shows, movies, and games related to Marvel Comics. Crystal Dynamics, the studio behind Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and the two games that preceded it, will be co-producing the show. Aside from all of that, not much has been shown since we got that first look way back in September 2023. Here's hoping it'll fill the void for the summer or fall. I'll try not to take myself too seriously. Tea, Miss Croft. Lovely. But enough of my info vomit, which movie or show are you looking forward to the most? Because if the worst should happen tomorrow, the world is going to need you to build a better day after. Let us know down in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to Mojo Plays for more great videos between the premieres every day.